And Catherine, back up for your second piece on thistles. Hello again. Okay, I'll start off anyway Well, uh, something's gone a bit wrong with the screen, has it? Okay, awesome. So this is again looking at what can you do with pastures, but this time in autumn. So variegated thistle, uh, a big issue on some east coast areas. It grows to about a um, metre and a half, two metres tall, so taller than me, that's not hard. Uh, it reduces livestock uh, productivity a lot because of the amount of space it takes out, out. So it was really good working with Ravensdown and with Perry Trust and trying to address a, a practical issue uh, that confronts a lot of farmers in the area. So we actually just set up a simple mowing trial to look at the impact of pasture cover in autumn, but then right through the year on variegated thistle, um, emergence, growth and seed production. So you can see there in autumn we had a range of sward heights, which correlated to different masses. Uh, seeds were sown in those by hand, hundreds of them. It wasn't me, it was someone else for whom I'm very grateful. And we followed them right through to seed production. Now, as you would expect, there was a massive impact on emergence and on mass and seed production. But to be honest, the extent of that impact surprised us incredibly. There you can see the bare ground treatment at the back, three centimetres in the middle and six centimetres in the front. So in terms of some numbers, uh, have a look at that graph there of thistle mass per plant. They're quite large with bare ground, but by the time you get into three and then six centimetres, basically neg negligible. And again, look at the impact on seed production. 63,000 seeds per plant on average with bare ground. By the time you get to six, you've got nothing. And you can see a person there in that photo at the back right. So, so that's, that's lovely. You've got a mowing trial. We're talking about East Coast Hill Country, broken ground, droughts. How can you actually use those results practically? That's where Tim Rhodes, the uh, general farm manager, was so good in taking the science and actually turning it to something that was useful for farmers. From his point of view, he thought it was a matter of focusing on one block at a time, but there's a potential for pasture competition to actually do something to suppress those thistles. And secondly, at the end of the day, it didn't really matter how much competition you had there. All you wanted to do was to maximise it. So his simple take home message was this graze of thistle infested pastures last in the grazing round to build up covers. Thank you. Thank you again, Catherine.